What's up everyone, Dan here, Crypto Capital Venture, December 20th, 2018. The markets are green. Bitcoin has been moving. It's a good feeling. Whether or not it continues, that's the question we're going to visit in this video. And we're really going to talk about the 200 EMA, the overextension, the potential bottom that we may have hit in Bitcoin. And we're also going to talk about on the daily and the four hour, the, the patterns that we're in right now with very key resistance. As I do this very video, we're going to look at these resistance areas to kind of get a sense of what's next for Bitcoin. Before we start this video, I want to visit a video I did, a clip from a video I did over a month ago. I think we were trading at around $5,600 talking about the approach to the bottom of Bitcoin. Take a look. For our everyday analysis that we do on this channel a lot. And we can look at, well, what did the capitulation look like for Bitcoin from the 200 EMA when we, when we hit that, like, that bottom, right? And we're talking 50 to 60% overextension from the 200 EMA. So on a day-to-day, -day, we know on this channel what we, what we really look for for swings in Bitcoin are 20 to 30% overextensions from the 200 EMA. So we're talking in a capitulation environment, in an in a end of the bear market, fearful environment. We're looking at 50 to 60% overextension on the EMA historically for Bitcoin. Okay, so in that clip, you obviously saw we did that overextension, that bear market overextension. Obviously, Bitcoin extremely volatile, pulls away from the 200 EMA, the 50 EMA often, you know, 20%, 30%. But in that very overextended environment, in the bear market environment, we see these these pullbacks even more volatile. So this is the bear markets from, you know, the bottom of the bear markets from around 2015 in January. And you see this overextension here around 58% on this chart. Now, if we visit, if we w visit where we are now and what we just accomplished in Bitcoin in terms of that overextension, we did that video at $5,600. So we've definitely entered that $3,000 to $5,000 bottom range that we talked about and we had an overextension of just about 50% overextended from the 200 EMA. That was a great indicator, first indicator to look at in terms of finding a potential bottom or at least a bottom range for Bitcoin. We've succeeded in doing so in, you know, since we did that video a little bit over a month ago. That's the first thing. Now, the second thing from that, from that area that we bounced off of, right? Very key area in that overextension is what is Bitcoin doing right now? And we can really use that last bear market for context. And really to am answer the, the, the question very simply, right now, it looks as if Bitcoin is testing the 50 EMA, or at least approaching this 50 EMA, that first significant step in exiting. It is the, is, it is the exit door of the bear market. And, and Bitcoin is approaching it. And you can see right now, that's the bear market 2015 there. But right now you can see Bitcoin approaching that 50 EMA. So in terms of price range, not too far away from that 50 EMA. We're talking 8% away. If this continues, will Bitcoin be able to break above the 50 EMA? It's a very, very crucial, very crucial area. If it does, we could get an even more significant breakout. There are some barriers in the way. That's what I want to talk about in this video. So basically, what I want to do first, before we get into the daily and the four hour in terms of patterns and res key resistance areas, I do want to paint this picture for you. Here's the very zoomed out on the daily chart, Bitcoin chart that I have. Uh, I love this chart. And I just want to throw this reminder out there for you. This is Bitcoin. This is cryptocurrency. I'm going to zoom in here. And just bear with me for a second as I do so. Zooming in on the daily chart, basically within this, this bear market that we've been in. And what you can see is, in terms of gains from this recent bottom, we've actually wicked up to around 24% gains, right? It's been nice. We're on the daily chart. You see it. I want to paint a picture for you. It wasn't long ago. We're talking the middle of November, a month ago that Bitcoin saw 24% gains, and then it saw new lows, okay? So before you FOMO, if you're new out there, please understand the volatility of Bitcoin. It is extremely important. 
to anticipate further downside, even amidst, you know, great significant gains of 24%. We just had this a month ago. Please don't forget that. And, and furthermore, we've had it multiple times throughout this bear market before seeing new lows, right? Here back in August, 20% gain, gains. Back in July, 39% gains. 17% gains back in June. We had a bounce of 47% back in April, okay? And the list goes on. So what we're seeing right now is, is actually nothing new for Bitcoin. The one significant factor in this bounce is the fact that we've touched that 50% overextension from the 200 EMA. Bitcoin, Bitcoin and the shorts, they have to be getting tired. And so that's the one significant difference in this bounce. Now, in terms of this bounce that we're seeing, here's what we have going on. Here's the four hour chart. We have this, this kind of mid range falling wedge that extends back to mid November, around a month. We have these, these lower highs, these lower lows that you see on the screen, and we have this most recent breakout, right? And this most, most recent breakout, is, is it has a significance to it because we're testing very key areas that we've been tracking for a little bit now. So out of this, out of this falling wedge, you can see our, our, our short to midterm target right around here, around $5,000, okay? In terms of this falling wedge breakout, this is the height of this falling wedge. That's our breakout target. Now, leading up to that, you see Bitcoin kind of forming this new uh, rising wedge, right? And we have to keep an eye on that rising wedge. But more, more importantly, what we need to keep an eye on is this, this area that Bitcoin is at literally as I do this video. So um, I'm going to get the Fibonacci and we're going we're gonna to check out this area. We have this previous swing high right here, right? This was the other 24% gain that Bitcoin had right here displayed on the four hour charts to the swing low that we had most recently, not too long ago, right? We're talking five days ago, swing low, just five days ago, market incredibly bearish and tired. We bounce off that swing low and now here we are, right? We're right in between this, this incredibly crucial 786 on the Fibonacci retracement to the 618. We're there. We've we've talked about we've talked about we use Fibonacci all the time on this channel. We talk about that channel, uh, the the 618 to 786 channel of resistance or support, depending on how we're using Fibonacci. We talk about it all the time, and we are literally right there, confluent with two other things: the 200 EMA on the four hour, as well as the upper trend line of this short term rising wedge. Right now, Bitcoin is in a, an extremely important area in terms of what's what's the story here? What's going on? How bullish of a scenario is this? Or is this just a typical, you know, new lower high for Bitcoin? Because this could end up being a new lower high if we see real true resistance at these levels, and then we get a bounce and a break below, and then we we don't even see support at this this upper trend line of this uh, this falling wedge here, we actually break below and we see new lows. I don't mean to sound bearish. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the bullish atmosphere in the market right now. I really am. I want it to continue. But I think it's very important to to take note of how Bitcoin moves, how it has moved for for the life of its trading. This is what it does. You know, these gains that we've seen in the last few few days are nothing new, okay? And we can just as quickly see similar losses, if not quicker, if not, if not even more. So please be careful out there. But one thing is for sure, as we, as, we, as we do progress forward, Bitcoin testing these resistance areas would be extremely awesome if Bitcoin can get, can get the steam to lead into this 50 EMA, we're back in the bear market, by the way, without seeing resistance, right? Without seeing resistance as we did back then, but actually breaking the 50 EMA, breaking the 200 EMA, and then getting this beautiful cross of the 50 EMA above the 200 EMA. That is ultimately what we're looking for. 
that is the the actual door to the exits of this bear market. Time will tell. Wanted to give you my thoughts in terms of where we are technically and what what we've been tracking on this channel. We've done so good, I think, in anticipating. And I want to thank all of you just for hanging out with me on this channel, on the live streams. This requires patience. It requires mental fortitude. And in my own approach of accumulation, you all have helped me extremely uh, in that regard. So thank you. If you're not a subscriber, we have fun on this channel. It's only going to get even more fun as we continue to accumulate and grow in this space. So please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts below. How are you making out out there in this market? I really appreciate you. Have an awesome day and God bless.